Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft tutorial, and this tutorial will be going ahead and building the London Fire Brigade's Mercedes Otego Mark III pump. This here is a pumper uh, fire truck that is used by the London Fire Brigade. It is a fully electric vehicle and was introduced, I would say, kind of recently in the uh, mid uh, kind of 2000s here, like 2010 or something like that. Uh, but it was basically a requirement uh, from the mayor to reduce the carbon footprint of the fire department. And the basically vehicle that was uh, incorporated was one of these. There are a few different versions of this uh, truck, but the Mark III here seems to kind of be more the more prominent one that's currently being used uh, around the London Fire Brigade. Now, this truck is solely based off of uh, London and the fire trucks they use other you know, different towns or, um, you know, countries are all going to be using different fire trucks. And this one here is definitely very specific to the London Fire Brigade because I couldn't find this truck being used by anybody else. I don't really have much history to really give for this vehicle, uh, other than the one I gave earlier. Uh, it was really hard for me even just to find the name of this truck since, um, it's not really widely given out for some reason. It's like a classified vehicle or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's it's a pretty cool vehicle and really nice. Definitely has that, you know, English or Euro fire truck feel to it compared to that of an American fire truck. And it's our first fire truck we've done in a very long time. So maybe we'll come back and revisit, uh, you know, build in some American fire trucks or something like that. But before we go and jump in the build, I do want to go ahead and give a special thanks to uh, Grim Reaper for commissioning this build. If you guys are interested in commissioning any builds in the future, you're free to leave, uh, you know, free to contact me um, on my email, gear 24 at gmail.com, where you can go ahead and get a free uh, inquiry about uh, basically any vehicle that you really want. So definitely feel free to reach out for me, reach out to me on there, and so I can get back to you a lot quicker. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool build, uh, and should be a pretty fun one to add to your, uh, worlds or whatever, if you're into this kind of stuff, emergency vehicles, um, which I did have a lot of fun building this. So, uh, basically, let's go ahead and yeah, jump into it here. We have the, uh, front cab of it, the EU fire trucks, just really always have a really good, like, visibility out of them. So you got a really big window here around the, for the driver and the co-driver, and then you also have some really large secondary windows where the crew would be seated. So pretty cool stuff there up front here, obviously really nothing too fancy about it, just, you know, pretty flat front of the fire truck. We then have the sides here, it has a pretty cool like mostly red design for the cab, but it does have like these yellow squares that kind of alternate along the side here, um, which is pretty cool, so they're like reflective squares or something of that sort. Then on top here we have what would be the strobe uh, lights, again kind of all blue, you'll see the little blue lights around the, the vehicle and those are the lights that the London Fire Brigade uses for their uh, emergency vehicles. Then we have the ladders here, um, this one ladder looks like it's mounted to the vehicle and actually able to like lift and maneuver and then you have a secondary ladder here which could either be attached or is just a standalone ladder on itself. Um, I'm really not too sure but it looks like that's how that would work there. Then we have the, you know, compartments here for all the gear and all the um, tools that firefighters would use. On the back, uh, again, just really kind of straightforward and simple. Just a, you know, red and yellow checker pattern here for the most part and just some of your lights and all that stuff. And then the other side of the vehicle is pretty much the same exact thing, but that right there is pretty much a overview of our London Fire Brigade Mercedes Otego Mark III pumper. Um, and with that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Moving into our first layer here, we're going to go ahead and start with layer one. For layer one, uh, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down two polished blackstone stairs. They're going to be back to back like so. And then we're going to go forward from those stairs with two polished blackstone top slabs. And then we're going to place down one, two, three red, red nether brick top slabs across, then one, two, three polished blackstone top slabs, and then one, two, three polished blackstone, and another three polished blackstone across like that. We're going to go ahead and then uh, place down two polished blackstone top slabs on this side, two polished blackstone brick upside down stairs, like so, and that's going to go ahead and start to create the front of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and then place down two polished anti top slabs back, and then we're going to go ahead and again fill the inside in here of two with two rows of three of polished blackstone top slabs, another row of three of polished blackstone top slabs, and then you probably guessed it, another row after that. We're gonna go then place down a red nerbic top slab to both ends, and we're gonna go back one and two top slabs back, one and two, and then we wanna place down two polished blackstone stairs upside down, back to back, coming off these top slabs as well, like that. 
Then we're going to place down one, two, three. Red nether brick top slabs back on both sides. A acacia wood trap door coming off those top slabs. And in the space in between here, we're just going to take polished black stone top slabs and fill the space in in between the stairs and slabs. So just like this to go ahead and create the base of the vehicle. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of dark oak trap doors across the back there to go ahead and finish it off. And that right there is going to conclude everything we have for layer one. Here is a top down view of what it should look like. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we're going to be going ahead and moving into layer two. For layer two to start with, we're going to place down three polished black stone stairs across the front here. And then we want to go ahead and place down a red concrete block to both sides. We're also going to place down an item frame on those red concrete blocks, as well as a white bed in the item frames, and then a acacia wood sign on the side there if you're on Java. So again, the signs can only be placed with the item frame if you're on Java. If you're not on Java, you can just place down the item frame and disregard the signs. We're going to go ahead and then also grab ourselves some black concrete and we're going to place down a row of three across the center here, followed by a polished uh, black stone up down stair to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down two more rows of three of uh, black concrete back. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a polished black stone stair like this to both sides upside down. Then we want to go, or sorry, not upside down, but just straight back to back. Then we're going to place down another two rows of three of black concrete, <clears throat> followed by a polished hand side upside down stair to both sides. And then we're going to place down another row of three of black concrete after that. This time we're going to have a grindstone that's going to come off the sides there of that. Then we're going to place down uh, two more rows of three of black concrete. And actually we're going to place down a third row. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a set of smooth sandstone slabs stacked on top of each other to both sides like so. And we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a tripwire hook. And we're going to place down a tripwire hook on the sides there. And then in between them, we're going to go ahead and place down a chain. So it's going to look like this here to both sides. Then we're going to place down another two rows of three of black concrete. Again, two polished black stone stairs back to back on top of the upside down ones. And then we're going to place down three more rows of three of black concrete. And then on the sides here, we're going to go and again place down a row of three of smooth stone slabs stacked on top of each other. Then a tripwire hook to both sides and a chain in between them. Same thing over here as well. Then on the very back here, we're going to place down another uh, smooth uh, stone slab block stacked up on top of each other. And we're actually going to shift our tripwire hooks over one. So we're going to go and shift this over one and this first block here is actually going to be a red concrete block. So my apologies on that. Just go ahead and shift that over back one and it's going to look like that there on the sides. After that, uh, on the very back here, we're just going to go ahead and place down a checkered kind of pattern here. So we have red on the sides and then yellow in the middle. And then we just want to place down an item frame on these two blocks here. Red concrete in the item frame for our brake lights and then a acacia wood sign over or actually, sorry, this should be a dark oak wood sign. If you're on Java, over the side of the block as well. So it'll look like that there for the rear. After that is all complete there, that is going to finish off what we have for layer number two of the build. And um, that is pretty much uh, what we have there. Now, up here in the front, it's going to kind of vary again, depending on what version you're on. If you're on Java, we're going to leave a space of three between these stairs. And we're going to place down a row of three of blocks. We're going to go ahead and take our ladders. We're going to place down ladders on these two blocks like so. And then type in the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. We get this glowing uh, debug stick here for Java. We'll left click this uh, ladder till we get selected facing. And we're going to rotate this around till it comes off the front of the stair. And you're just going to go and do this for each one of these stairs here on the front to basically go ahead and create your front grill there for the vehicle. You can also use item frames and then you could put uh, ladders or you could put uh, probably iron um, bars in the item frames as an alternative to that as well. So a couple things you could do there. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go and grab a loom and we're going to go and talk about the wheels here for the uh, vehicle. So I'm going to go and grab some of the materials and we'll go ahead and move into the banners. All right, guys, so going ahead and move it into our banners. We're also going to be going ahead and using this time to design the banners on the back here as well for our uh, compartments here. So let's go and dive into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and go into our loom. We're going to go ahead and place down um, our wheels. So for our wheels, to make them, we're going to need four black banners, four light gray dye, uh, eight black dye, two gray dye, and two red dye. 
We're going to put each one of our black banners into the loom with our light gray dye. Two banners, we're going to go ahead and have a line going vertically on the left side. And we're going to do that for two banners. And then for the other two banners, we're going to have the line going vertically on the right side. We're going to put each one of these banners back into our loom with our black dye. We're going to do a line that goes horizontally across the top and a line that goes horizontally across the bottom for each one of these banners. And once we have that done, we have these four banners that look like that. Now you're gonna go and then pick two banners. So you wanna have them basically kind of set so that the gray is facing toward each other. That's gonna be a set and that's gonna be a set there. Our first set here, we're gonna place back into our loom with our gray die. We're gonna do a, a square that goes in the top corner opposite from this, where this light gray is. So you're gonna have it in this top left-hand corner because our gray is on the right side. The other banner, it's gonna be the same thing, except it's gonna be on the right side this time because our gray is on the left side. So that's going to complete that set. And then our next set, we're going to do the same thing, but with red. So again, we have the red in the top left-hand corner there for, that, for this banner. And then the red in the top right-hand corner for the other one. And this here is going to complete your wheels. So your wheels here, very simply, on the first one with the gray, the dark gray in the corners, we're going to place down our banners like that on the sides of the stairs. Same thing over here. And then for the back here, we have the red in the corners. And that'll be placed on both sides here. Make sure again that light gray is facing um, toward each other and that's going to complete your wheel design there which just kind of helps overall improve the look of the wheels I think. Um, and then for the uh, banners for your doors here, very simply we're going to go ahead and place down three gray banners um, into the loom with three light gray dye. We're going to go and select the brick pattern for each one and we're going to go ahead and do this for all three. Then you just want to go ahead and pick two of these banners. One of the banners is going to go into the loom with our yellow die. We're going to go ahead and do a line that goes um, vertically on the left side of one banner. And then your line is going to go vertically on the right side of another banner. And then you should have one just plain with the brick pattern and then one with a line on each side. And that's going to be what we're going to be using in the future layers here. Uh, the next two layers to go ahead and uh, detail the side there doors. Um, so just kind of put those to the side, make sure you hold on to those, but you will be using those a little bit later. Now continuing on with our banners, we have our, we're going to need four black banners and four red dye. We're going to go into our loom, we're going to place down four black banners and four dye. We're going to go ahead and for two of the banners, we're going to do a line that goes vertically on the left side for one banner and a line that goes vertically on the right side for the other black banner. So it's going to, you're going to have two banners that look like this. Then for our next banner, we're going to do a bottom corner so for our first one we're gonna do that left bottom corner and then our second one we're gonna do the bottom right corner and that's all you need to do for those banners really simple and you can just kind of set him them here to the side and we will be coming back and using them here shortly for the um, cab of the vehicle but anyways uh, let's go ahead and continue on with layer number three moving into our next layer we have layer three for layer three to start with we're gonna place down a red concrete block on top of the stair followed by a white concrete block to both sides of it we then want to place down a sand snow wall on the sides of those white concrete and then a stone button on that middle red concrete block. Going uh, to the sides here, we're going to place down a red nether brick wall. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. So a red nether brick wall to the sides. On the side of the red nether brick wall, we're going to place down an item frame and then a nether star in the item frame like so. We're also going to place down an item frame on the side of this um, wall here. That's going to have a blue concrete block in the item frame. Again, if you're on Java, we'll place a birchwood sign on the side there of that wall as well. Then after we have that done, we're going to place down another sandstone wall that goes back on both sides. We're going to place down an item frame. And then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a black bed. We're going to place down a black bed sideways like so. And then a birchwood sign on the side of it if you're on Java. Again, same thing over here as well. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a yellow concrete block to both sides. And then we're going to place down two red concrete blocks and then another yellow concrete block to the sides there. In this middle space, we're just going to go ahead and fill the inside in with black concrete. So have that filled in just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone slabs. We're going to place down a row of three here, then a second row of three across here, and then a third row of three. So you have a row of nine all the way across the side here. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side as well. For your middle three, uh, we're going to place down the trip bar hooks, and we're also going to go ahead and place down our chains in between them. So again, the same thing there on both sides. After that, we want to go ahead and then grab our banner design that we have here. 
And we're going to go ahead and place down a normal, ba the banner without the yellow in the middle, and then yellow, the banners with the yellow to the sides, like so. And you want these banners so that the yellow is facing away from the center of this group of three. Then over here on this side, we're going to do the same thing. So again, yellow facing away and our normal brick pattern in the middle. And we're just going to take the same thing and do it over to the other side as well. So like that. Then uh, on the back here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. On the left side here, on the right side, we're going to place down an item frame. And in that item frame, we're going to place down a white concrete block, as well as a narrow dark liquid sign on the side here if you're on Java. For our checker pattern here, we're going to have a yellow block to both sides, and then a red concrete block there in the center. Uh, in the center space here, we can just go ahead and again fill this in with black concrete. It doesn't really need to be filled in at this point, but I like to fill it in just to have a nice, consistent, uh, basically block filled in there for it and the last thing we need to do here is just grab ourselves some acacia wood trap doors and we're going to place them on the sides here of these two red concrete blocks so just the same thing there on both sides and once you have that all done there that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer three of the build here is a look at it from the top down view and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer layer number four moving into our next layer we have layer four for layer four to go ahead and get started with here we're going to take our nether brick walls and we're going to place down a row of five of nether brick walls across the front here we then want to go and take our black concrete, we're going to place down a row of three across the back here, and then another brick wall again to both sides. After that's all complete, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, another row of three of black concrete and another, another brick wall to both sides. We're going to go and then place down a red concrete block on both sides there, a row of three of black concrete across the center, two more rows of three of black concrete, and then two black stained glass blocks on the sides there like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a red concrete block again to both sides and another row of three of black concrete across this followed by a polished black stone button on both ends. We then want to go ahead and take our smooth stone top slabs and we're going to place down a row nine all the way across the side here. And same thing over here. So just like that. And then we want to go ahead and grab our banners and we're just going to go and basically stack them up from what we did in the previous layer. And we're also going to go ahead and put the banners like this on that middle space there. So again, same thing over here. Just kind of stacking upon what we set up in the previous layer. And getting that middle section complete as well. So just like that. Then on the back here, we're just going to go ahead and grab our red and yellow concrete. Place down a red and yellow concrete block on the sides there. Um, over here on the left side, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood sign. Over on the right side, we're going to place down a birchwood fence post and in this middle space in here we're actually going to go ahead and grab our stone and we're going to fill the inside in here with stone so I'm just going to fill this in completely until we get to that line of black concrete this area here will need to be filled in because this will be visible from the outside of the build so you will have to place the stone here at the very least um, but that's all we have there for that and that should complete everything we have for layer number uh, four of the build and with that let's go ahead and move on to layer number five moving into our next layer we have layer five for layer five to start with we're going to take our black stained glass panes we're going to place down a row of five across the front here and then we're going to place down a row of three of black concrete or two rows of three like so going back from that and then two narrow brick walls to the sides there like so we're going to go then place down a polished black stone wall that's going to come off this glass pane here to the sides and we're going to place down an item frame that comes off of it and then a glass pane in the item frame for the side mirrors, like so. We're going to go then place down a red concrete block to both sides, a row of three of black concrete across, two more rows of three of black concrete, and then black stained glass full blocks to the sides there, like so. Then we're going to take a red concrete and just do a row of five across, this time with a polished black stone button on both ends. Then we're going to take our yellow concrete, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine back. And same thing over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, back like so. Now, once you get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and grab item frames. And we're going to place down two item frames here, two here. And then we're going to place down polished black stone buttons on the middle three blocks like so. In those item frames, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some blue beds and some black ones. We're going to place down a blue bed sideways on the item frames on the outer sides. And then black beds sideways on the inner ones like so. And we're also going to go and grab ourselves our birchwood signs. And we're going to place them on the side here of these yellow concrete blocks if you're on Java. And we're just going to do the same thing over here to this side. So again, the 
same exact thing. Just like so, and you have your lights there on the sides. Now, after that is uh, done there, we're going to go and then place down a birchwood fence post on top of this here. And then on the other side here, we're going to place down an item frame. And this is going to have a blue bed, or sorry, just a blue concrete, or no, sorry, actually it's a blue bed. Blue bed like that in it. And we're also going to place down a cache wood sign on the side of it as well. Now, in the center space here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some grindstones, some skeleton skulls, and some birchwood fence gates and a chain. What we're going to do here is we're going to place down a grindstone like this to both sides, a skeleton skull coming off the grindstones, and then a chain in between those skeleton skulls. We're going to go then place down a birchwood fence gate that's going to go between there, and we're going to go then place down two birchwood fence gates forward. Then uh, on the sides here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some andesite walls, and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight walls, and same thing over here on this side. Then uh, up here in the front, we're going to place down a stone brick wall here, and then a stone stair coming off of it, like so. And that right there is going to basically do it for the top up here for the time being. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next uh, layer, which should be layer number six. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to start with, we're going to take our polished black stone slabs. We're going to place down a row of five across those five glass panes on the front here. Then we're going to place down a red nether brick slab in the center here, a polished black stone wall to both sides, followed by a daylight detector as well, and then one more daylight detector going back from those. We then want to place down a polished black stone wall in the center, a red nether brick slab to both sides here, and then another polished black stone slab in the center, and again two red nether brick slabs to the sides. We're going to place down a row three of red nether brick full blocks, and then a red nether brick stair to both sides, and then two red concrete blocks back from that, like so. Then in the middle space here, we're just going to place down two rows of three of red nether brick slabs like that across. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a grindstone. We're going to place down a grindstone here and a skeleton skull coming off the grindstone going back. On the right side here, we're going to place down a stone brick wall. And we're going to go ahead and need some pressure plates. We're going to place down two stone pressure plates, a stone brick wall, three more stone pressure plates, and then two grindstones like that with a skeleton skull coming off that grindstone there. After we have that done, we're going to go and then take our stone pressure plates and we're just going to place it in a row all the way along the top there of that yellow concrete. For your ladder, we're going to go ahead and go up from this space here. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate and then we're going to place down one, two, three more going forward. So you have a total of four there. On the side of these fence gates, we're going to place down birchwood signs. So just like that and same thing over here. And that right there is going to basically complete what we have for that. And that is going to finish off what we have for layer number six. With that, we'll be moving on to our next layer. Moving into our last final layers, we have layers seven and eight. For these layers here, we're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a row of three of daylight, or sorry, row of five of daylight detectors. And we're going to go ahead and turn these to the night mode. So you have that light bluish gray color up on top there. Then we want to go ahead and grab our iron bars. We're going to place down two iron bars on top of this net this red nether brick slab here. Then we're going to take our birchwood fence gates. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way along the side here. And on each one of these fence gates, it's going to take a little bit, but we have to put down a birchwood sign. So again, we're going to do this for each one of our fence gates uh, going all the way forward. And again, it's a little time consuming, but once you have it done, it's a pretty decent la looking ladder, I think, in my opinion. And again, the same thing over here. And just like that, we have this ladder done here. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a fence gate on top of the skeleton skull, and then one, two, three, forward. Then we're gonna place down a grindstone, come off this fence gate here on the front, and we can only place down birchwood signs on this side here, so we're just gonna place them on the one side. So, just like that. And after we have that all done right there, uh, that's pretty much it for that. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything, and that appears to be pretty good to go. Uh, the one last thing is gonna be up in the front here uh, for my Java players. We're gonna go ahead and type in the command um, to get our debug stick again. 
So slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore sticks. So this command here. And we're gonna be going ahead and going to the side of this space here. We're gonna place down a block and then a lever. And we're gonna place down our user debug stick. We're gonna do selected face. We're gonna go ahead and right click that, set that to floor. And left click this and change its facing so that it rotates and connects up to that slab. Now, if you're not on uh, Java, you can go ahead and substitute this for probably a polished blackstone or a wither skeleton skull. So again, as a substitute, for this, I would just place down a wither skeleton skull like that. Um, so again, that's what you can do on all versions and this we have over here. And then going to this section here, uh, we're going to go ahead and then do the same thing on the bottom here. So we're going to do that coming off of there and then left click this and we have it connect up like that. Over here on this side, I would probably just use a wither skeleton skull on the bottom there or you can even use a fence gate. So I'll use a dark oak with fence gate here. Um, as well and you can place a fence gate coming off of it like that so a couple options there for you um, obviously this one here is the best streamlined one um, so definitely try to use that if you're on java but if not then you have the alternative one that you can use over there on that side anyways though that right there is going to do it for my design here for for the build actually one quick thing i almost forgot about too is the banners um, on the side here so kind of missing a few things here um, but yeah, basically this right here, real simple, we're going to place down this banner here on this wall. It's going to be have this line on the right side. If you are on Java, you can place it with the item frame. If you're not, you'll have to delete this item frame. So just keep that in mind. And then we're going to place down our uh, banner like this with the red going toward the rear. And then over on the other side, we do the same thing. So we have this banner here, that red forward, and then the red going backwards in that back corner. But once you have that all done, that is going to wrap up my tutorial here for the London Fire Brigade Mercedes Atego Mark III pump. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. Again, a big special thanks to uh, the commissioner of this build, uh, the Grim Reaper, or Grim Reaper. And if you guys are interested in commissioning to build yourself, send an email over um, to garrett 2 4 at gmail.com and feel free to ask some uh, questions about what you want or go ahead and commission a build. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gary 204, and I will see you guys next time.